Welcome everyone. I am going a little bit just intuitive with this practice today. I have no idea where this is going. I just feel like laying on my mat and moving my body um, and I wanted to record it so that I can share it with you. Body weight and intuitive movement is one of my favorite things in the world. Our bodies are just not meant to sit still or stand still for hours on end. It's just not what we're built for. It's not what we're designed to do. Um, and we all have a floor and we all have a body. And I wanted to be reminded that if we don't move, we get stuck. So we get stuck in our mind and we get stuck physically. And that's when we start to break down. Um, and of course, when we break down, we uh, obviously endure more stress. Um, we are much more reactive than we are responsive. And that, of course, is the start of inflammation, sickness, and dis-ease in the bodies. So we're just going to get started. All you're going to need is a mat. I'm going to move back here so that you can see me. The light in here is not great today, but that's okay. You don't need to see my face. Um, as always, if you enjoy this practice, please jump on the like button, hit that, and subscribe so that you can get sent new uploads, which is um, they're uploading each week um to come to your feet it's free it supports me it helps me support you um and of course uh i have just finished my book watch your language it is um being published with the kind press and it will be due out late january early february if you want to know more on the book and the programs that i'm doing to uh i really want to change the world my intention and desire is to really shift the dialogue we speak to ourselves um, changing our, our words from judgment and comparison to acceptance and compassion. And I want to shift things on a big scale. So if you want to know more about that, head over to my website, watchyourlanguage.com or onto my Instagram page at watch underscore ya underscore language to find out more. Uh, and you can also pre-purchase my book at the moment. Um, again, all those details will be on my Instagram page. And if you do pre-purchase my book, you'll receive a free 30 minute guided meditation on compassion and acceptance, which is such a beautiful one to do if we are feeling a little bit unworthy or um, not backing ourselves. It's such a great meditation. It's actually one that I come back to as well and I share in the book. All right, let's do it. We're gonna um, get started. Make sure you have a water, uh, a water. Make sure you have water um, and make sure if you need to rest or modify, you do that at your own pace. This is the most important thing. We are gonna start with our fingers nice and wide. We're gonna start by moving our spine. So um, just starting to create some movement in the body. And I want, I do have a timer going. That is the one thing that I do have going. So don't worry, you will not be on my time. Um, you don't have to worry about me counting because that would be shit for you. Um, because you never ever want a trainer to, to count and trust their times. But we are going to be here for at least another minute and a half. And I want you to just play around with your body with and just a, a reminder always to modify um, for your body. So feel free to just drop your knees down. Feel free just to come into plank pose, like listen to what you need. We'll go two more of these. Super slow, articulating the spine. And then opening the heart. You can see I'm in a pretty enclosed space here, but we'll do the best we can with the room we've got. Always a bit of a challenge. Let's roll with it. Coming back up to downward facing dog. Walk the feet to uh, the hands towards the feet. Coming to some sort of a dangle. We're just going to hold here for five breaths. Stretch the hamstrings. Soften the knees. Feel free to shake the head yes and no. Again, uh, just being quite intuitive with where we're going, we're going to walk the feet out a little wider, come into some sort of a squat. From this squat position, we're going to walk ourselves out to find plank pose. Drop the knees down or stay on your toes, find a press up. Coming back up, keep the feet wide, walk yourself back to a squat. So just moving through that for now, walking from squat into your version of press up. Back up and walking back to squat. I'm just moving my feet in a little bit, obviously, because of the wall. But try to just keep it as is. Just modifying with the space I've got. Let's go 
doing two more of these. Should be starting to get a little bit warm by now, hopefully. Always option, drop those knees down. Pull the belly button to the spine, keep going. Last one. And on this press up, we're going to come all the way down to the ground. Untuck those toes, bring the fingers wide. Let's inhale, peel the spine up. And exhale, come down, just getting into the vertebra. Really, again, feeling that articulation into the spine. We're going to take three more of these. So inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, down. And inhale, lift. And exhale, down. So we're going to just roll to the side and come into this 90-90 position, bringing the right foot in front of the left quad. Straight away working to some hip mobility. So starting to lean back. You can use your hands if you need to on the ground. Um, a really nice one if you sit a lot. Trying to make this as just fluid as possible. Again, our hip is a ball and socket joint. It's meant to move around the joint. So if we are sitting down in chairs or standing up continuously and not actually getting the full range of motion in our hips, we're going to have we're going to have problems. We're going to have problems in our knees and in our joints. And if we're putting our feet in shoes, we're going to have more problems. Most of the Western shoes that we wear are not designed for um, human feet, right? A human foot is wide at the top and it is... Uh, it's muscly, it should be muscly. The four layers of muscle, 33 joints, 26 bones. And then we put it in this tight compressive footwear that doesn't even match the shape of the foot. So if you are interested, I have done a foot health immersion. Uh, it is $29 and if you are interested, shout out in the comments and I can send it to you. So from this position, we're now going to come up and start to back bend. So just putting a little bit of, um, space into this now so the hand comes down and we open up through the front of the hip flexors and the groins just moving fluidly letting this be what it is don't try to make too much of it and we'll go two more because they feel really nice And then we'll call that the sort of warm-up mobility done for today, whatever it is we're about to do. Excellent. So we're going to start on the ground. Um, we're going to start off, I think we're going to do a bit of a superset work. So two movements. We're going to go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds on, and we'll go 30 seconds off. And we're going to go for three rounds. All right, let's, again, let's just go with where my head's going. So the first one that we're going to do is a dolphin plank. So we really want to have the elbows and wrists in alignment with each other and an external shoulder rotation. We want to pull the belly button towards the backbone and we want to find this position where we're tucking the tail between the legs. All right, so if you hear me say sad dog, that's what I want you to think. So sad dog, we want to tuck that tailbone under, pull the belly button towards the backbone. All right, so in our dolphin plank, we are going to go in about 15 seconds. Um, we want to really arch the scapula. We want to really spread the scapula apart and push the ground away with our forearms. So we have 30 seconds of a dolphin plank, then we're going to go up into 30 seconds of mountain climbers in three, two, one. Dolphin plank. Hold. You guys keep going. I can't see the timer. Maybe that was an excuse for me to pause. No, it wasn't. I promise. That's better. Always drop the knees to the ground here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Can we come up into plank pose? And then we're just going to start to bring the knees in towards the chest. It doesn't have to be fast. We need to more use your core and work straight arm strength by pushing the ground away, keeping nice, straight, strong arms. Four seconds. Four, three, 
two, one. Shake out your wrist. Just two more times like that. I'm just going to keep it super simple. As in really just going with whatever comes in my head today. I don't really like to plan too much. I do a lot of that for many years. It takes a lot of time. Uh, our intuition um, and our heart space can really guard, it, guide us when we're quiet enough to listen. So tuning into that today, I'm sure we'll have fun. Two more rounds, we're going back to our dolphin blend in three, two, one, here we go. Squeeze your glutes, like we don't want to pitch a tent, right? We want to keep and dip the belly to the back bone. Don't forget to breathe. Five, four, three. Can you go up to plank without dropping to your knees and straight into those mountain climbers? Keep your shoulders over your wrists. Option, knees drop down, bring the knees in towards the forearms. You do not need to move fast to get a sweat. Trust me, you just need to work hard. Ten.
One, three, Woo. sweating. So I actually um, bought, a, bought a road bike, which was super random. I haven't ridden in like 10 years. I used to do triathlons a lot. And um, I bought a time trial triathlon bike, I don't know. <laughs> But I, it was really, really cool to get it because it pushed me into a state of fear, which I love. I was terrified riding it today, but fire up my legs are called three, two, one, back to the right side. And um, I ended up riding nearly 40Ks, <laughs> which is not great for the first time. And my body's probably going to be a little bit angry with me tomorrow for that. So I'm going to really make sure I do some yin yoga tonight so that I am compliment what I did on the bike today. I'm going to be opening my hips, I'm going to be getting into my hamstrings, my calves and my hip flexors, especially after being on the right on the bike for 40 k's, changing sides. We really have to look at what we are doing a lot of. So if we are sitting a lot or standing a lot, that means our hip is just working in a state of a hinge joint. Like we're, um, let me rephrase that, sorry. It means that we're telling our hip that it's acting like a hinge joint, but it's not. It is a ball and socket joint. So we've got to open our hips. We've got to create mobility. Really just finding the opposite. Well done, guys. Breathe. One more round. So if we do a lot of this, we have to complement it with a lot of hip opening stuff as well. So things like yoga, movement. Um, we're going to be doing some today. We just have to really, really tune in. What are we doing a lot of? Like writing or, you know, on the computers? How can we open the heart space, all right? It's just a balance like everything. We've got one more round. Right foot, get ready to work through that lunge. Three, two, one, go. Don't rush it. Like balance. seconds left. Ooh, change sides everyone. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Down to the ground, shoulders off the ground, knees lift, knees stuck over hips. Option one, stay here. Option two, point the toes, squeeze the quads. If that's too much, come to a single leg hollow body hold. If you're doing single, change. We want to keep every single vertebrae on the ground. Ten. Three. And time. Ah, oh, seriously? So wetting up a storm here, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Ridiculously sweaty. Cool, that's round one. We've got two more rounds to go. Oh. I hope you are sweating as much as I am. <sighs> okay. So we're ready for our kick throughs, guys. Again, any chance if you need to shake up those wrists through, two, one. But I really encourage you, your wrists are not strong. Get them strong. How? Spend time on them. How you can do that? Check back onto my videos. I'll put the link into the comments of a five minute wrist mobility routine that you can do every day because we have five minutes, all of us do. Same with what you should be doing for your hips. Just strengthen them. If we don't get on them, they're not gonna strengthen. Three, two, one. Set up your hollow body hold. You know where to go. Try to pull those knees in that cheating, keep them here or extend. Again, single leg option available. If you want more, bring the hands back, whatever space. Go for it. Three, 15 seconds. Spine on the mat, shoulders off, eyes up. Four. Three, two, one. Great, right, guys. One more set for today. All right, that's it. Keeping it short, keeping it sweet. But always give 100%. Whatever you do, don't be on your phone, screw it. Don't be half assed with it. Give it everything you've got, then walk away and go to the next thing you're going to do. Four, three, two, keep through, guys. Your pace. Maybe move a little quicker if you've got it. You feel confident to move faster. Go for it. Push the ground away with your hands so you're working straight arm strength as well. to a squat and then you're going to come to a hovered bear. You're going to squat 
and you're gonna come to a hover there. Foot or turbo cap, as it's also called. So they are our two moves. These are our last two moves. I want you guys to give this everything you've got. We're going in 20 seconds. So I'm just gonna do, let's just do one monkey crawl one way and one the other. So 15 seconds. Don't worry what it looks like, just give it a crack. Have fun with it, that's what it's about. The more you practice it, the easier you'll get out from it. But these feel really fun. Four, three, two, one. Bring the right hand in front of the left foot. Hand, hand, foot, foot. And then just re uh, reverse the direction. And just keep going. No matter what's going on. Just have fun with it. Push the ground away with your hands so much that the hips lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Turbo cat to frog. Turbo cat, frog. Lower option. Step it back. Come to squat. And drop the knees down if you need to take pressure off the wrist. No problem. Come to this. Walk it out. If not, do a little bit of a jump. Have fun with it. May as well. Look here anyway. Three, two, one. Take whatever rest is necessary for you. And just breathe. Okay, two more rounds. Legs are cooking. 20 seconds. Monkey crawl. Holy. All right, guys. Four. Three, maybe you play lifting hips more, depending on your space. Off we go. Don't know how I'll go here, but I might give it a go. It's a super fun one to play around with. Great if you've got kids. Definitely testing the space I've got here. And those glass windows behind me. Five, four, Three, two, one. Turbo cat to frog. Turbo cat to frog. Go for it, guys. Totally your pace. Oh. How smooth can you make this? Ten. Four, three, two, one. One. Oh my goodness. Talking of kids. You have kids and you're in Newcastle. Infuse Health at Adamstown have the sickest kids classes. Check them out. Movement based classes for kids. Movement has taught me so much. It has taught me to appreciate moving and having gratitude for the skin I'm in without moving to punish or exercise. Teaches you to love movement and to be so appreciative for the body we're in. Last round, guys. Three, two, one. So I'm so grateful for the practice of movement. It shifts my whole paradigm on exercise. I used to exercise because I wanted to burn calories or to, you know, burn off last night's dinner or whatever it was. And they are the wrong reasons to move. We need to move because it's what we do. When we move with gratitude, See we're in, it feels so much better. Four, three, two, one. Last one. It's, it's real guys, the cooking is real. I hear you, I feel you, but we are nearly done. I'm literally in a ball of sweat, I'm not kidding. Would have been a smart idea to open the window. Ten. Three, two, one, find your back. Just, I just like this so much better. Just breathe, bend your knees, and I want you to spend this next minute trying to slow down your breath. So to do that, I invite you to breathe from the belly through into the rib cage, through into the lungs. 
and then reverse it. Five more rounds. too much of course to catch the shin just catch the back of the hamstring oh my, my shin is so sweaty it's actually really difficult to grab on just do your best if you need to flex your right foot to protect your right knee do that I'm not going to spend too long on stretching I definitely recommend uh, jumping in and doing a 20 minute yin class I've got like about 30 yin classes on here now so go for your life like you know, even if it's not now, maybe tonight. Let's get into our hamstring size. We don't work unless we put the time and effort into ourselves and we must pour our own cup first. You cannot expect to be at optimum fitness and health and wellness if you are pouring everyone else's cups before yours. The truth of the matter is when you feed and fill up your own cup first, then you are gonna have so much more energy and vitality and love and gratitude to help out others without holding resentment. Do you first. Alrighty, change sides. So recline pigeon pose first. You know, in my book, I speak a lot on that. You know, I grew up people pleasing. I grew up um, trying to be a perfectionist. Got me nowhere, got me tired, got me sick. I spent 27 years in eating disorders. Bulimia, anorexia, self-sabotage, orthorexia, addiction to clean eating, addiction to exercise, addicted to shopping, drugs, sex, money, whatever. Because I was constantly on the run. Come back to just being your authentic self. No need to alter, change into hamstrings. Alter who you are for anyone. It takes way too much effort. Be in the moment as much as possible. Be present, practice presence, be here now. And that's where we grow. We find we have loads more space, loads more energy, loads more vitality. We come back to who we are, we come home. From here, taking a moment, we're gonna sit up. I'm just gonna do a seated twist because um, they're really nice to get into the glutes. So I just like to bring my left foot over my right and if the left foot is over, we bring the right arm up and we're going to sit tall and then twist and therefore you get into the glute as well. Three long breaths here. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> that was great though. I, um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed. Change sides. That really helps me to help you. Um, jump on my Instagram if you're interested in my book, What's Your Language? Pre-order it uh, now if you can. It's due out in uh, early, uh, late January. And you'll get a free 30-minute guided meditation. This is not on my YouTube. It is a meditation. There's a private meditation linked to my book. I'll send it to you as a thank you if you pre-order uh, my book now, um, which helps me with the publication costs. It's not a, not a cheap journey um, writing a book. Um, there's a lot of costs involved. Um, and of course with COVID, um, it's been a beautiful challenge and it's working out exactly as it's meant to be. So I'm very, very grateful for every single one of you. Um, it's been a pleasure to have you on this channel. Again, click that like button, click the subscribe. I'm so grateful for you and I'd love to know how you found that and how sweaty you got through that one as well. I'm Megs, I'm grateful for you. Thanks again. I'll see you on the next workout.